If you have already cooked something on your outdoor grill, you are way ahead of the Sands family. But grill season is coming for all of us. We can only hope and pray, right? Hi, V Dietitian Nina Struess is here with Kickback Kebabs, because we love kebabs. Yeah. They're easy. Yes, I've grilled once so far. Yeah, have you? Yeah, I'm crossing my fingers this weather gets better. I know, what would you put What'd you put out there? Oh, I think we did uh, fish. I yeah. did some, no, we did shrimp. I actually did shrimp on a kebab, and then mm -hmm. my husband did some pork, because he's not a big fish person. Well, you know, some people uh, will barbecue or grill all mm -hmm. year, and we've just never been like that, but I, nope. it's, it's great, because if you can, do it, because all the mess is out there. Yeah. All that, right? And kebabs are so simple, too. Well, yeah, and then you could put whatever you want on them. I know you do them, um, you kind of have them pre-done in the store if you want to buy them like that. Yep, so we do have some varieties that are seasoned and unseasoned. Usually we just have steak and chicken that are available. Sometimes they'll have some seafood varieties too. We try and mix in some good meat as well as veggies. We also mm -hmm. too sell a lot of like the meat portions that are already cut up so you can buy yeah, the meat yourself and good. then thread it yourself too if you wanted. You have some uh, some kebab tips like these are on the um, on the wooden skewers. The ban yeah, bamboo the, skewers. But yes. they um this stuff's a little heavy for these sticks. Yeah so right? for these these might be a little bit especially for how much is on there but mm -hmm. there can be pretty you know good for much smaller ones like the shrimp that we have today that we'll do. Then we do have metal skewers too. Yeah you can use them. Do you, you like, use. do you like metal? I use those at home. I love them. I think that they're much easier to handle. The other thing with bamboo is that they can catch fire. So oh. you want to make sure that, I mean, it's not going to be something where you put it on and it'll, you know, but catch they fire. Get, but they, they get dark can. and smoke. Mm -hmm. um, you're supposed to soak them. Soak them for 30 minutes before you're going to use them and that's going to kind of okay. help prevent that from happening. In bourbon? No, in water. <laughs> in yes. water. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. Good to clarify. Okay. But you could. <laughs> But using a marinade or something from that perspective yeah. too does help with your kebabs. That's have some kind new of, ones. Yeah, we have our Hickory House blends, have some different flavors. We have about five on the market. And so those are really great. You can do any kind of protein. It kind of helps tenderize the meat, mm -hmm. gives it some flavor, makes it simple. That's something you could do on a meal prep, you know, on Sunday night. Uh, you can put your meat together in, or in, in veggies too, in a bag, and then just kind of let them marinate overnight if you want to, overnight. or pull them out okay. for another time during the week. And then Good. you just thread them on the kebabs. I believe in marinade. Not only does it give it a great flavor but you're right about the tenderizing mm -hmm. Just yep. can, because sometimes I see you use very lean meat sometimes mm -hmm. it can be a little tough and you, nobody wants to be pulling right you know at uh, at your kebab definitely um, what are you gonna make over here we've got some uh, shrimp kebabs and we're actually what I love about this recipe too is that we are using not only just the protein but we have veggies and fruit so we've got mango Ooh, here too so mango. you can do yeah you can do kebabs in a couple of different ways uh, I kind of have it here where we just have the shrimp and the um, the veggies you mm -hmm. can obviously sh you know do them all together these is these are kind of ones where they're all cut small enough to where you could easily you know thread the veggies on with the shrimp if you want to. I'm just kind of the person that likes to do my protein separate from the veggies because sometimes the veggies oh, and the fruit take a little bit longer. You're it just right. really kind of depends. Oh, so you always, so you have you have your meat kebab and then uh, the separate mm -hmm. one that's your your side dish. That's the way I like to do it, but obviously you can do whatever you prefer at your own house. Sure. Um, the other thing too is kind of leaving a little bit of space. So the big ones that we sell don't have much space. They kind of cram everything together on there because we want to give you the best bang for your buck as much as possible. But if you're mm -hmm. doing them at home, kind of leaving a little bit of space in between kind of helps with um, with That's the cooking. Tip. Getting it a little bit more even cooking See as well. See the spacing? Well. Rather than smushing them together. Mm -hmm. So you've got that space in there. You can obviously, you know, do it a little bit smaller too if you feel like you need to and the shrimp's good. not going to matter too much because from the shrimp perspective you know that's all going to cook the same so you can mm -hmm. leave that those pretty close together you just want to have enough space to where that doesn't fall off on the end and you have a, you're able to kind of grip it too pretty well the mango you wouldn't have to cook very long because it's soft yeah it's ready it to go so good and it's going to give it a nice uh, you know more of a charred different type of a flavor and this mm -hmm. one actually comes it's kind of a mexicana kind of spin and so if you want to you know if you have tomatillos maybe that you're going to grow this uh, season you and do a salsa verde, you can. You can buy your own too, and this all that can stuff. go on the grill as well. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. you guys. I'm trying to show where. There is. <laughs> so, this is a, so if you don't know, um, like a tomatillo or a salsa verde, mm -hmm. it's um. It's mild. Yes. It's not It's not ever hot. Exactly. And, uh, is this a good one? I haven't tried this yeah, one. Yeah, so that's going to be a good one that you can use. You can actually serve that on the side once these have been on the grill. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you are more adventurous, you can use the poblanos, mm -hmm. the serranos, and the uh, tomatillos on the grill too. And then the smoke pack brica is just the seasoning for this one. So this one's really simple. You don't have to use a marinade or anything. We're just going to sprinkle smoke paprika on the veggies and the fruit and then pop it on the grill. 
I also love kebabs too as kind of a way to kind of set yourself up for meal prep success. So mm -hmm. you can obviously have it for dinner one night, but then, you know, I just had our leftover shrimp for lunch yesterday. Yeah, so. that's a good point because it's all, all cooked. You had it on the kebab and then just you can peel it off and put it yep. in a tortilla, whatever you'd like. Ready to go. Good ideas. Uh, remember, if you get the bamboo sticks, they you do need to soak. Soak them for 30 minutes so beforehand. So they're nice and wet and you mm -hmm. can't reuse these. N probably shouldn't. Yeah. I mean, probably might, shouldn't, no. Yeah. Um, but you, if you go to the metal skewers, those those are forever. Yes. So, so you don't have to soak, you don't have to soak those. No. no. And I love those ones. You can fit quite a bit on just four skewers. And find a new marinade to try. I think yeah. that's, a, that's a good way to go and give it a different flavor uh, whenever it warms up enough to go out there and grill. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Any right? day now, I'm sure. Cross your fingers. I'm going to get that updated soon. <laughs> Nina, thank you. Are you going to come back with Taco Tuesday? Yes. Can't go wrong with that. Terrific tacos. Yeah. And some different ones, yeah. right? Cool.